Alchemists, welcome back to our series on Phoenix Live View. Now, since then, I went ahead and updated the style to our project to use Bootstrap. And I wanted to show how you can actually interrupt with uh, Bootstrap uh, modal to just overlay a creation form. But one of the issues you're going to run into, which is that when you start to test your validations, the box is going to go away. Now, what's going on in the background is that we put a form into here, and when we change our form, we're going to validate what's going on in the back end, and that's going to actually overwrite our HTML. So how to solve this is actually uh, a little bit simple, but also a little bit complicated, is that I added in a uh, open modal um, variable to the template and you have to have this open modal uh, events to both close and open the modal and over here what we're doing is we're actually overriding this so I went ahead and compare and uh, did this in another window but you just have when the modal is open you want to make sure you show the modal uh, and then when it's closed don't show the modal so now when we go to create that user let's see make sure everything is okay ah actually I forgot to trigger it sorry so on Phoenix click on here we're going to open modal There we go. Test two, test at test.com, this kind of stuff. This is all working fine. This is all working fine. But the only other issue is that <clears throat> this will actually not work. Oh, well, actually, it does work, but you can see it still keeps the model up. That's because of the. Um, the data dismiss is not being called on here. <clears throat> so if we do data dismiss modal, that should help. Test three, test three at test.com, test, test. There we go. And that is how you can uh, use uh, Phoenix Live View. And it looks like we have one more issue. And actually, this is what I remembered having before. <laughs> Sorry to start the project too soon. Uh, when you submit, this is actually overriding this uh, dismiss button, this dismiss uh, click event. So now the way around that is to not actually use a submit event, is that we can use a click event instead. So we go over here to Phoenix Submit, cut that, put that into here, call the Phoenix Click event. So these work fine together. And one more thing is that instead of handling this event of submit user, what we're going to do is when we validate the user, we're going to take these user params and we're also going to hold on to them. And then we could just pattern match them from here. We have our assigns. Params. We're not doing the submit event anymore, so this will just work. And now, test one, test one at test.com, test, test. There we go. That's how you can make that work. It's a little bit hacky, but you can see it works. 
Uh, the one drawback though is that if this part fails then you're going to have a little bit of an issue but overall as long as you can avoid that it seems to work. So this is Alan from Plangora and this is our series on Phoenix Live View. Please subscribe if you haven't. Let us know anything else you'd like to, to try and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.